Minister of Labor and Social Security, Brenda Tamba Tamba, has applauded Marco Polo Towers Limited and NAPSA for the massive investment in the local production of tiles and other materials that are adding value to the country's economy. The minister says the partnership between Marco Polo and NAPSA will see the export of tiles to, the, to other countries, such as the United States of America, is a milestone for the country. And the company has announced that it will, starting next month, commence exporting tiles to the USA. It continues to be the best investment destination for many countries across the world and Africa in general. With this young population, which is predominant youth, this means the country can produce more for the world economy. For many years now, Zambia has been making efforts to realize the potential of having industries that will produce more goods for export to the outside world. Slowly, the reality seems almost here. Marco Polo Towers Limited Company, a joint venture with NAPSA, which has about 16.39% shares in the company. This has cheered Minister of Labor and Social Security, Brenda Tambatamba, that soon Zambia will have its locally produced towels exported to the United States of America. Uh, it looks very impressive. Of course, we would, in, over the long shot, we will be able to find out also to, to keep track and monitor that uh, the, the, the employment uh, is, is uh, improving in terms of quantity as well as uh, qualitatively. We also have to check that. I know Mr. Kashinka is here. I uh, know the Labour Commissioner is here, they've got a job as well to ensure that even if we know we are putting, we are investing here, we also must invest in a responsible manner as a responsible employer as well. So what we have seen here is, 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 it is inspiring, it gives hope that Zambia will be on the world map soon in terms of production of tiles. It, what is even interesting is that we've seen some of the tiles just behind us here that are targeted for the first lots to go to the American market. So that in itself should give an assurance to the Zambian people that sustainable jobs are being created here. Do, uh, jobs for, uh, investment with a dollar value is being created here. Hopefully now we can um, go into assessing and ensuring that that dollarization, that investment will translate into a better standard of the pension scheme. With the workforce of more than 700 workers, Marco Polo Limited has demonstrated a positive growth. In 2020, the company posted 150 million kwacha as its net profit. Meanwhile, NAPSA Director General Yoland Kachinda says the next few years, Marco Polo Limited will be listed on Lusaka Stock Exchange for the general public to benefit from it. I want to mention, Honorable Minister, that in the one year and a few months that we have invested in this company, we have received a dividend of $518,000. So at any given time, that is around 16, 17 million quarter for seven months that we invested in this company. And so the next one year, again, we are looking forward to receiving another, another dividend. I also want to mention, Honorable Minister, that in fact, our entry into this company has got an exit strategy and the exit strategy or we will reduce on our shareholding by bringing this company to the Lusaka Stock Exchange in the next three to five years. That is what has been agreed right from the beginning. So this company must be coming on the Lusaka Stock Exchange so that we have a much wider participation uh, in the benefits of, of this company. NAPSA has 16.39% shareholding in Marco Polo and has so far received 17 million kwacha in dividends. Lusaka must highlighted in the National Development Plan and aligned with the Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs. Speaking in a speech read on his behalf by Assistant Secretary of Lusaka Province, Amuziani Ngondwe, Mr. Kamanga says government is working at increasing availability of data on governance issues for the youth and women so that they can take lead in championing the issues affecting them. Mr. Kamanga say 